Hey guys, welcome back. Here is a quick and easy project for you. A way to show off your YouTube subscriber count. And the best part is, no coding is required. Everything is done through this interface. You're going to need a Wemos D1 Mini, a 7 segment display, and a frame. I got mine from IKEA. Luckily, the hardware is very straightforward and the pins are aligned. All you need to do is solder it in place. And it's always good to double check your work. Once done, connect the D1 Mini to your computer to load the software. You do this by opening Testmatizer. If you don't have it, I'll put the link in the description below and load the BIM file. The link to the bin file is in the description as well. This process can take a minute or two, so let it run. When it is finished, connect to the Wi-Fi network called Mr. DIY YouTube Display. The initial password should be MrDIY.ca. You should get this pop-up. If not, go to 192.168.4.1 and fill in your Wi-Fi network name, password, the channel ID, and the Google API key. Check the description on how to get those. Save and connect back to your home Wi-Fi. Now it's time to embed it in a frame. But before we do that, if you like this video, hit the like button and if you want to see more, consider subscribing. And if you are interested in supporting my channel, please check my Patreon page. So this process is different from a frame to frame. But the general idea is to cut a place to make the segment display sits right behind the glass. You can print a paper with your brand or whatever you want to display in front of it. Getting a frame with a paper back will make your life much easier. The easiest way to do this is to make an opening just big enough to fit the display. Then use a paper cutter to carve out that area. To secure everything in place, you can use tape or a hot glue gun. Now put all the parts together and close the frame. Power it up and you should see the subscriber count. This usually takes less than 15 seconds. The display is programmed to update every 15 minutes. As I mentioned, there are endless ways to embed this in different bodies or frames, so here's another example for you. This is a cinema light box you can get from the dollar store. And that's it for me. Let me know in the comment section if you're planning on building one or if you have a clever way of embedding it in something creative. Peace.